My name is Gwen Olson, and I am the author of Confessions of an RX Drug Pusher. I'm a 15-year veteran of the pharmaceutical industry, and I left in the year 2000. And what I would like to do today is I would like to dispel the myth that the pharmaceutical industry is in the business of health and healing. Because, in fact, what the pharmaceutical industry is in the business of doing is disease maintenance and symptoms management. They are not in the business to cure cancer, to cure Alzheimer's, to cure heart disease, because if they were, they would be in the business of putting themselves out of business. And that, in fact, doesn't make sense. I don't want people thinking that I am a conspiracy theorist, because, in fact, there is no theory behind what I'm telling you. It's all provable. And what I'm saying is provable is that the pharmaceutical industry doesn't want to cure people. You need to understand specifically when we're talking about psychiatric drugs in particular, that these are drugs that encourage people to remain customers of the pharmaceutical industry. In fact, you will be told if you're given a drug such as an anxiolytic or an antidepressant or an antipsychotic drug that you may be on the drug for the rest of your life. And very frequently, people find that they are on the drugs for a very long period of time, if not permanently, because they're almost impossible to get off of. Some of them can have very serious withdrawal symptoms. Most of them can have extremely serious withdrawal symptoms if they're stopped cold turkey. But some people even experience withdrawal symptoms when they try to chitrate or they try to eliminate um, the drug little by little, day after day. So it's really important to understand the motivation behind all of the the current maintenance drugs that are on the market, even, for example, drugs such as cholesterol-lowering drugs. And what we are, in fact, finding now is that cholesterol drugs are lowering cholesterol excessively and causing other disease states as a consequence. So you need to be careful about trying to take drugs in order to remain healthy because you're never going to have anyone come to you and tell you that the drugs are always tried against a placebo in clinical trials. What a placebo is, is a sugar pill. And in fact, many drugs are not found to be much more efficacious than the sugar pill. And in a, po a case in point, actually, is the recent um, clinical trials that were released in the meta-analysis that came out of the UK on antidepressants, on the newer SSRI, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor Antidepressants. And what was found was the information that activists and other researchers have known for decades was that antidepressants are no more effective than placebo, no more effective than sugar pills. But yet there are over 44 million people that have been taking these antidepressants, and a large number of them, people that have mild to moderate moderate depressive uh, episodes. In fact, they, they prove that the antidepressants were not effective in anyone with the exception of some of the most severely depressed patients. And I can tell you from personal experience that there are a number of things that um, depressed patients can do to improve their mental status aside from drugs that are quite effective and, in fact, more effective than placebo. Uh, another recent study that was released um, showed that exercise was, in fact, more effective than either placebo or the antidepressant drug that they were compared to. But just like Bill Maher said in his uh, show, you know, we're never going to hear any ads on television that are sponsored by anybody saying, you know, the New England Journal just announced that exercise is twice as effective as antidepressants in curing depression. Uh, ask your doctor if getting your butt off the couch is right for you. You know, you're never going to get that kind of good information, fair balanced information, as long as pharma is funding the major TV stations, the advertising uh, that supports those television stations, the major journals and all of the advertising that supports the major journals. You just have to be commonsensical people and understand that the pharmaceutical industry makes five to six times the amount of money 
as any of the other Fortune 500 companies in the United States of America. They are not going to easily or readily give up that income. And we are, in fact, considered a human commodity. Our loved ones, our children, our elderly are considered cash cows that are preyed upon by pharmaceutical reps such as myself who are encouraged to go in and build market shares without thinking about the consequences to patients, without knowing the misinformation that they are distributing, without being aware that the clinical data has been contrived or that the patient populations have been cherry-picked or that the side effects have been minimized and reported in such a manner that it doesn't present the information correctly. I spent 15 years in this industry. I was one of the best of the best, but I'm here to tell you that the industry has run amok, that we are at a severe crossroads in this nation and that we have got to take our power back and we have got to start making the pharmaceutical industry accountable for their actions and for the defective products that they're putting on the market. It won't be long before every American is affected by this disaster. And we need to be aware of what the differences are between diseases, between disorders, and between syndromes. Because if it doesn't have to be scientifically proven, if there are no tests, if there are no blood tests, CAT scans, urine tests, MRIs, if there is nothing to document that you have a disease, then you in fact do not have a disease, you have a disorder. And it has been given and has been diagnosed pretentiously. And you need to get yourself educated and understand that there are options and those options are much more effective than drugs. You need to look into the nutritional aspects of your diet and your lifestyle aspects. Are you exercising? Are you taking care of yourself in the ways that you need to be proactive about your health? Because once you start down the road of taking one prescription drug on top of the other, you will be a lifelong customer for the pharmaceutical industry and your choices will be truncated. So I would like to ask you to please self-educate, be proactive, and share the information with others. The next victim could be someone that you love. Thank you.